So let's begin with the big issue, a major week ahead for global central banks. Centro will be interesting. There's a lot of central banks that are looking at rate cuts. There will be some discussion around what are the policy options <laughs> available to uh, the ECB. Mr Draghi already, I think, mentioned that there is headroom for QE. He has the toughest job right now in the world. For Kuroda, not much to do right now. We think they're actually going to move towards an easing here. and We actually now forecast the BOJ to lower rates more into negative territory later this summer. Strongest uh, scope for uh, disappointment is with the Fed. The markets have have anticipated that the Fed is going to come to the rescue. If there is to be a cut at the end of July, we think they'll probably signal it this week. The consensus seems to be that they'll open the door for a rate cut. I suspect it probably will. The communication which is going to come through is going to be critical for the next few months. So here's the key question. A market's primed for disappointment. Joining me around the table here in New York, Steve Orth, the Federated, Bob Michael of JP Morgan Asset Management, and John Mackay of Schroders. Bob, let's begin with you. Are we primed for disappointment this week? Can we meet very high expectations of the Fed? I think they'll easily be able to meet it. I think that they're going to go into this meeting. They're going to set the market up for a potential rate cut in July. Certainly, they want to see how the G20 and the trade negotiations play out. But if there's no compromise, you're going to get rate cut. And and we should see this week patient removed from their language. High bar, isn't it, John? I think it's a really high bar. I think they're going to disappoint to some degree. You see the market rally basically into the employment report. It's basically treaded water since then. I think it's been very hard for the, for the Fed to come out and support the market's expectations for as many rate cuts as being priced in over the next year. Steve? Well, they're not going to do three cuts, that's for sure. Uh, they are probably at least going to uh, note, you know, the likelihood of a, of a July cut, but they don't want to do anything in front of the G20. My concern, John, is that they don't do something about the dots. I think that's unlikely, and if the market over-focuses on that, that would be the disappointment. Well, let's talk about the dots right now, Bob. In the summary of economic projections in that dot plot, the median dot still has one hike for 2019. The market right now has, what, two, three cuts for this year. How do we reconcile those two things? To what degree do we do that on Wednesday? Well, I think everything's changed. I think when you look at the way trade has gone, it's impacted consumer and corporate psychology, and that sentiment has changed dramatically, so the Fed has to change with that. They've got to bring the dots down.